I'm Eric Hastings, and welcome back to New Orleans, Louisiana. One of the best ways to get oriented here in the Crescent City is on a carriage ride. Would you say today's the perfect day for a carriage ride? I carriage. would say if it's not the perfect day, I don't know what would be. This is Esplanade. This was the Grand Avenue built by the Spanish. And who says you can't learn something on vacation? Hello. There you go. And on our left is the old U.S. Mint. That's where they made federal money. It houses our jazz museum today. Jelly Roll Morton, all the greats, that's the place to go. Cool. I played the trumpet when I was in seventh grade. Oh, there you go. Well, I yeah. have no musical talent. Yeah, they took well, the I don't either. away from me at the age of five. <laughs> now, if someone comes down and take, takes a carriage ride, where will they find you guys? Where will you? In Jackson Square, in front of the square. Okay. That's where we start. How long will, will our tour take today? A typical tour uh, ranges anywhere from a half hour to an hour and a half. Oh, very good. These forked items are called guard to freeze. Yeah. Now, when New Orleans was settled in 1718, Louis XIV was the king of France. Yeah. And he was known as the Sun King. So we have a lot of things, including guard to freeze, that are in sunburst patterns. Oh, wow. And in the early 60s, one of our famous musicians, Muddy Waters, was sitting out on one of these uh, galleries looking uh -huh. for inspiration for a song one morning while sipping his cafe au lait. Sure. And he looked over and saw one of those guard to freeze and said, that looks like a rising sun. And he wrote <laughs> the famous song, The House of the Rising Sun. No kidding. You know, coming up on our left is Cafe Du Monde. Oh, this is a very famous place. It, it is. It, it opened in 1862 as a, as a coffee shop. Here, because coffee was in short supply, we began digging up the root of the endive plant. We would roast that and grind it. That became known as chicory. And so we blend that chicory coffee 50 50 with boiled milk. They've been serving that nice cafe au lait there ever since 1862. On the right is famous Jackson Square. This was the heart of the old fort. When the fort began here, this was called the Place des Arms by the French. Now at the back of the cathedral, at the square, is the famous St. Louis Cathedral. Second oldest Catholic church in America. It is a cathedral. It is a minor basilica, meaning the Pope has preached there and they can never use it for anything other than a Catholic church. Coming up on the right is the Napoleon House, named for Napoleon Bonaparte. When Mayor Giraud of New Orleans owned this, he had this idea he was going to go across the ocean with some other Frenchmen, jailbreak Napoleon from prison and bring him here to live. So he totally furnished the top two floors to be the palace in exile for Napoleon Bonaparte. So here's the famous Brennan's restaurant. Brennan's family owns about a dozen great restaurants, all four and five star quality. This is where Bananas Foster was invented. Oh, I love and Bananas, it's my favorite. Sauce. Now we're coming up to the famous Bourbon Street. Mm -hmm. The first third of Bourbon Street I, today I describe as the bachelor party scene. And the middle third's all the music, Cajun, blues, Zydeco, jazz, rock and roll, country western. Is that where we are now? And that is where we are now. And uh, here Funky Pirate plays an upbeat bluesy jazz called funk music. Fritzel's the German style pub. They play great traditional New Orleans Dixieland in there every night. Good place to go. Marie Laveau is the famous voodoo queen in New Orleans. How would you know if somebody actually put a hex on you? I don't know. I, guess I think I, I, I think know. somebody has done that to me. I don't know why I, don't I know. think that. I, I don't either. I'm very nervous about it though. <laughs> People know there's this much history in New Orleans when they come to visit? I believe the average tourist uh, suspects there is, but yeah. But what they know about and what they've heard about is Bourbon Street. Right. But as they get immersed here and they take tours, they find out that, that this is one of the oldest cities in America. In fact, as far as the South is concerned, there's nothing older than this because most of the cities in the South were destroyed and have nothing newer than 1865, the American Civil War. We have buildings that are 100 years older than that in this town. So oh. there's a lot of history. Well, your stop's coming up. We're going to continue on, but hopefully now you have a better idea of some of the places you have to see in this historic city. In New Orleans, I'm Eric Hastings. We'll see you next time.